Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. Something I've already been kind of teasing on both Twitter and Reddit, um, but something I want to share with you guys right now. Um, on the one hand, we have these fuel rods that I actually posted a tutorial on for on Twitter, uh, step by step, layer by layer, showing you how you can uh, generate kelp blocks out of nothing in this very sort of confined space. So this has the farm. Um, and also it does this at 100% efficiency. So um, essentially it's a, a self uh, fueling system where it creates a kelp block, which gets put into a furnace, which creates more kelp blocks. Um, but it, it does it at the ratio that actually makes sense where you uh, process 20 fresh kelp uh, and nine of that gets used for a fuel block that goes back into the machine for the next batch. And then the other 11 essentially go towards the player or another 11, uh, 12. Um, and we got two of these and these are both hooked up to this smart furnace. And the reason for that is the kelp farms are not incredibly fast. So what I wanted to do was make sure that the, the little fuel that we do create is actually processed at a 100% efficiency. So that's what this machine does. Basically you put a bunch of stuff in this chest and that gets sent to uh, a bunch of furnace arrays. And then the machine makes sure that every furnace receives uh, 20 items before it actually provides one kelp block to fuel the whole thing. Because every kelp block can uh, process 20 items. So uh, let's just actually see that in action. I'm going to detach it from the uh, kelp farm for a moment. And then what we're going to do for reference is we're going to look and we're going to make it so there's only 64 kelp in the, the uh, array right now. And that will normally get replenished. And as you can see, I got a whole assortment of things that can be processed by furnaces. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put uh, the whole lot in here. So 15 stacks in total uh, for a total of 960 items. <clears throat> and the machine is going to do a whole bunch of logic and keep track of a whole bunch of things and then basically set <coughs> the first batch towards the first furnace and once this has 20 it receives a kelp block and the way this works is uh, if it receives 19 items uh, it will actually just did not do anything and then when you add one more that's when it will, it will give the the kelp uh, well now this is just going to go into the furnaces and eventually they're going to end up in this large chest here um, moving up this uh, uh, drop evader um, but we're obviously very impatient so uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna probably lower this volume a bit because it's gonna be very loud uh, let's speed this up a bit Uh, there we go. I believe that is a 9 plus 6 is 15 stacks. And then we have to do the math. So we had 64 kelp in the machine. 960 divided by 20 is 48. So there should be 16 kelp in here. There we go. Uh, so 100% efficiency. Um, and now the cool part is uh, you, you can kind of hear the machines constantly like doing things. Uh, the tick rate is normal um, but this is going to just constantly uh, produce kelp um, so yeah what I'm going to do is uh, hopefully at some point do a tutorial uh, but right now my concern is just to hand this over as a world file so those of you that have time to like do stuff with this uh, you can just test it yourself I'm a little bit convinced now that the random oh, that obviously the tick rate is very high I was like wow producing a lot of kelp now these machines are actually not very fast they produce like nine kelp per hour but then that's still 18 like why well, if you have these in loaded chunks that's 18 kelp blocks per hour which is at 100 percent efficiency enough to process 360 items and if you go on a mining trip 
uh, for an hour, getting 360 items that you actually want to process is quite a bit. Um, so for me, uh, like this is perfect. It's very expensive, but it's also very fancy. It looks good. Uh, you can, you can, you know, aesthetically, you can do cool stuff with this. Um, but anyways, enough talk. Uh, sharing the world file uh, in the description. I'm also sharing the tutorial for the kelp farm, which is uh, uh, very, yeah, it's it's very cool to build. Um, and if you guys haven't checked out, I also recently uploaded a tutorial for a pumpkin pie factory. So now you have food that is automatically being generated and now you also have a fuel automatically being generated and you have a furnace that is very smart. And as I'm more playing more survival, this casually, uh, we'll probably, I'll, I'll probably need to make some more things. And if I'm happy with those things, I'll happily share them on the YouTube, Twitter, and or the Twitter or on Reddit. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.